Faith over fear simply means that we trust God even when we don't always understand God, when we don't know the outcome, when we are afraid of what may happen, what could happen. But our firm belief is that God is going to work things out for our good. When Pastor first came, you know, that was a excitement and joy. But at the same time, financially, we had to look at where we're going to go from here. Yes, because we had a lot of challenges financially, but in terms of uh, uh, our financial journey, because remember, we were without a pastor. We were without a pastor for what, a year and a half. Right. I believe after he accepted his call to ministry, and then hearing the voice of God tell him that it was time for his next assignment, which was to pastor. And then understanding and believing and trusting that not only to pastor, but to walk into an already existing ministry, that meant a new direction and a new vision for a ministry that has such a rich history. I remember when Pastor Swan arrived and we were having our services over in the old sanctuary, as the services grew, uh, we were packed in there to the hilt, literally. Uh, Pastor Swan had the vision then to begin to have two services. In some cases, uh, the early morning service began to outgrow the 11 o'clock service. And so over time, uh, those two services began to both uh, prosper, if you will, uh, on, in their own right. And so you, I guess you could say that uh, now, uh, that's history. I remember when Pastor first came and uh, he had to stand in faith about uh, renovating the chapel. He came to the board and he said that he wanted to take the pews out of the chapel and to get rid of the carpet and to make it a multi-purpose area. You know, but it was special to me. It was the place where I first had a real encounter with Christ. So I didn't want to see it go. But a uh, pastor seen a vision that we didn't see at the time. But I'm so thankful that God had given, had given him that vision. So now I don't only have the memories of when I first had a, an encounter with Christ uh, on Wednesday night Bible studies, but I also seen the vision come true. At home, when I'm having to think through all of the decisions of what may happen or what could happen, or I have to think about this or think about that, it's Slater Swan that reminds me that everything is going to be all right, that God's already worked it out, that it's going to be for our good if we just trust in Him. And so uh, I'm grateful to have her. I think Ivy doesn't realize at times how blessed we are. She is the constant source of support and strength. Even as I'm up and down with the things that happen at the church, and if there's anybody that exhibits faith over fear, it's Lady Swan.